Tyler, and I'm on Team 839A, and I'm the lead builder and driver. Hi, my name is James. I'm the CAD designer on Team 839A, and my preferred choice that I learned this summer is Fusion 360. Hi, I'm Breland, and I'm a programmer on Team 839A. The issues with this year is that it has a really big field and you want to be able to get across it as fast as you can while also having optimal control of the robot for autonomous. And the best way to do that is four motor drive with traction wheels. And so we thought about using a swerve drive. But the only problem with the swerve drive was that the traction wheels had so much friction that turning was not easy. In order to create this piece, first I used the ring gear and deleted the outer lip by using sketch. I made a circle of where I wanted it to be, to be deleted. Then I used a screw cut on the outer lip. I then used a 60 tooth gear and used the holes on it and made it just right to leave the teeth and deleted the inside of it. While using a simple rigid joint, I put it all together. When my team and I finished the part on Fusion 360, I then sent a STL file to Sony, our coach for 3D printing. So I just finished my swerve module. Hey James, you wanna come over and watch? Yeah. Okay, as demonstrated over here, we have a blue gear that spins our custom part, the ring gear. Here, you wanna see a demonstration? What happened there? Uh, what happens right now in our prototype is that the ring gear goes up and above the gear, so it slips. So we're going to think to put a plate here so that it doesn't go up. Okay, continue. Um, over here we have a blue bevel gear that is connected to a motor from the other side. And that bevel gear goes through a gear box right here that will spin our tire. Alright, can you do both at once? So you still got some improvements to do, right? Yep, we still have some improvements. Alright, James, how do you feel about that? 